In this video, you'll learn how to complete a unit in Math AS. So remember, there are 12 units in the course, and you need to complete them all in order to complete the course. And we want to look at the general structure and process you're going to do this in. So notice I am in Module 1 and the Unit 1 folder. I can read that from right here. Okay. This one has a calculator video. I think four or five of them do. If you want to start by watching this and practicing with your calculator, that's a good idea. Uh, the next thing you'll need is the media lesson packet. If you bought the book, it's located in your book. If not, you can open it and print it. Okay. And you want to have it printed and ready before you start the videos. So the next thing you'll see is the media lesson videos for Unit 1. Okay, unit 1 actually has a lot of them. They don't all have this many. Uh, there's a few ways you can watch them. You can click play and it'll go through each one one by one. Now I'm going to pause this. Uh, notice this is Unit 1, Problem 1, Part A. And if we go back to the media lesson packet, you're going to start at the beginning read through all of this information and notice problem 1a is the one we just saw in this video. So if there's a little computer and it says media example that means there's a video you're going to watch and fill in this information. Okay. Once you fill in the information and the video is complete sometimes you'll see a you try problem. So a you try problem has this little pencil in the corner and it says you try and it's very similar to the problem you just saw in the video and you can try this on your own and check your answers. The answers are located in course materials. Okay. Now notice here's another video and this video will be the next one in the list. So if I click ahead, notice it says problem 3 and that is this problem right here. Okay. So you can go through and watch all of the videos, okay? And once you've completed them, uh, you can go to online homework, okay? So I'm gonna click on the homework, okay? Uh, this one has 29 questions. A few things to notice. Every question has what we call worked examples. So if I click on worked example, This is a similar example to the one you're working on, where the link is, okay? That gives you general information about the problem, how to solve it, um, things you should be careful of or beware of. Lots of people leave out the hyphen sometimes in a word name or misspell 40, okay? And how to enter um, your answer. So sometimes, here's another example, if a place value is zero, you still need to include it in the expanded form. So it'll draw your attention to common errors that students make that um, can cause you some difficulty. Okay, so let's look at a shorter one. You can skip around. Okay, so this is number eight. Okay, notice the worked example. There's also a video link back to uh, the media lesson video that was like this. So you can watch that if you'd prefer that to the worked example. Right here it says message instructor about this question. So if the worked example isn't helping, the video isn't helping, you can click on this. Select me as the recipient and it will send me the exact question you're working on so I can help you. And you would click send message. Okay, so those are all the help features. Now notice here it says this is attempt one of three. I'm just going to put in a wrong answer and click submit. If you don't answer everything it warns you which is good because you want to check to see what you left out. I'm going to click OK. Notice here it says that all four of them are wrong, and now I'm on attempt two of three. So I'm going to round this first one correctly. Now notice I've gotten one part right of the four, and it says one out of four right. And here this arrow um, means that I have another attempt, okay, at least one more attempt. And since it's not a green check, that means I don't have it completely correct. Now I'm going to hit submit again because this was attempt three of three. And after three attempts, it tells you all of the answers for this specific problem. Okay, 
but remember you have to get at least 190 points on your homework assignment. Okay. So you're going to click on try another similar question and you get to start a new one. It saved your one point. It will always save your highest score. I went in and entered the correct answers. Now I'm going to hit submit and notice now there's a green check and I have all of the points. Okay. So you can proceed through all of these using that same method. As many times you want, you can click try another similar question. Now, uh, you only need 190 points. I highly suggest getting the full 200 points because you don't know what's going to be on the quiz. So let's see what a quiz looks like. Okay, so notice here uh, the quiz is a little bit different on the homework. The homework isn't timed. You have as many chances as you want. Okay. Um, also, you are free to use a calculator on any, any of these, okay. uh, but the quiz is timed. You have 45 minutes to complete it. It's a lot shorter, okay. um, and once you open the quiz, your time limit will begin, so you need to start it right away, okay. and don't you know, leave for a little while um, or your, your time will run out. Okay. Also on the quiz, you only have, it'll tell you, that the time limit's 45 minutes, you only have two attempts per problem. So let me find a shorter one. Okay. Uh, so there's 10 questions. They're shorter than the homework problems. They'll look like the homework problems, but shorter and different numbers. Okay. So round the given numbers to the indicated place value. Okay. So on my first attempt, I get this wrong. Notice it has this red arrow. That means I have another attempt. Okay, and let's get this one right this time. Okay, again, your numbers will be different. Submit. Okay, now I have a check and uh, two chances. It tells you the answer after your two chances and you cannot attempt it again. Okay, so that's how a quiz works. Uh, you need to get at least 70 points on the quiz or the next unit will not open. So here's unit two. Um, notice it says right here, this assignment will not open until you earn 70 points or higher on the unit one quiz. So if this isn't opening, if this is closed, check the due date, see if you need to use a late pass, okay? Um, or go to the grade book and check to see what you got on the quiz or that you completed the quiz and got at least 70. If you don't get 70 points, it's not the end of the world. Email me. I'll send you some feedback and a little bit of a review, and you can reattempt the quiz. Okay. So that's the general structure of completing a unit. Okay. And I hope that was helpful.